Uh, first things first, I would say go ahead and click the link in the description and go ahead and download the wallpaper. And then we can go ahead and continue on. What I'm going to do is go ahead and start fresh here and clear the slate. All right, now that you got everything cleared off, everything should look, be looking clean and smooth here. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and download the wallpaper that you want to use as your background. So I'm going to stick this folder here. It's got about 30 photos in it. And all of these are going to work just fine when it comes to using the depth effect on your lock screen. They all look really, really cool. So you don't have to go with that main picture that was on this video preview. You can go with any other photo that you like. And so go ahead and grab one. Um, and then let's go ahead and continue. The one that we're going to be using in this video is this particular picture here. And so what you do is just simply set this as your wallpaper. In order to do that, uh, once you've downloaded the photo, you can actually, and you save it to your photo album, uh, like I'm doing here, then just tap the share button. Just hit use as wallpaper. And here, if you zoom all the way out, you're going to notice that there's a, you don't have to zoom all the way out to notice this, but I, I normally zoom all the way out first. And then you'll see here that there's a little button that's right here, right there. And when you tap it, if depth effect is grayed out like that, but extend wallpaper is like that, just zoom in a bit to put the actual person a little bit over the clock here like I have. And then when you tap it again, you'll notice that depth effect, you can now tap to turn on because now the actual main subject is partially covering the clock. So I can like to kind of zoom or kind of pan around the image with two fingers, kind of put them wherever you want it to be. I kind of like mine's a little bit off to the side like this here but you can set yours however you want. Um, I don't like it like I need to actually see the clock, <laughs> but go ahead and set yours up the way that you like. And then once you have yours set, I think I'm gonna go with this for this particular one. Um, you can actually tap, you can edit your clock. I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. And you can choose if you want it to kind of have that gradient or you could just choose that's white. I kind of like this kind of reddish tint that it has going on there. And then what you can do um, after this is you can just hit add for right now. That's okay. And then hit customize home screen and we're going to unblur. So tap the word blur to bring it into focus <laughs> kind of backwards. It already blurred it. So now you can notice that it's not glowing anymore. So once you tap that and hit done and you go back home, you should now have your wallpaper here. Now, uh, the next thing that we can do is actually go download these two applications. The first one is going to be Blink Widget. And this particular one that I like to use a whole lot is called MD Blink Widget. Um, this one is by MD Studio. This is my favorite Blink Widget one to use. On iOS 18, this isn't going to be um, something that is it's still really cool and useful because I really like the designs that's in here. And if you want the text on it, like we're going to be doing in just a few moments, it's still super useful for that reason. But you don't need it to just create spaces now so you can have icons here. But anyways, download MD Blank Widget and then go ahead and download Motivation. Uh, let's see. Motivational Daily Quotes. And this one here is my favorite motivational app to use as well. And so this one is by Monkey Taps. And so go ahead and download this one as well. Go ahead and open up both the apps and get past any kind of questionnaire that it might have. And then you should be back at your home screen. We can actually go ahead and go back to the lock screen. And uh, you can get there quickly by just dragging down from the top left. And then just kind of rest your finger in the blank spot and hit customize. And when you tap on the lock screen here, you can now tap on the date here. So Monday. Go ahead and tap on that and you'll see that there's now a suggestion here where you can go ahead and choose motivation. And so now when you tap it, you're going to see it automatically update. And so throughout the day, you'll automatically get different motivational quotes that's going to be here at the top of your lock screen every time you unlock your phone. It looks really cool. Um, and so go ahead and hit done. So now our lock screen is pretty much all set when it comes to customizing this part. It looks really cool. So once you go back to the home screen here, the next thing that we're going to want to do is that screenshot that we took earlier is going to come in handy now. Once you open up the blank um, widget app, just tap settings. I already have my sec selected. Tap settings and then hit set transparent background for widget. 
and here's where that screenshot's going to come in. Um, so I already have these, and I'm going to hit replace for both of them here. So tap the word replace, and then choose the screenshot that you just took. It's going to go ahead and set that one. You could do the same thing for the other one. And go ahead and tap that screenshot that you just took. It's going to update. I'm on an iOS 18 beta, so there's a few more bugs in my phone than there is likely in yours. So you, you shouldn't get an error when you do yours. But anyways, once you do that, now you can go to, you can check out the gallery if you like. But what we're going to be doing to try to set things up at this point here is, um, if you're not on an iOS 18 beta, now just hold down a blank spot here and tap the word edit and then we're going to add widget. Go ahead and go down to that blank widget app. It's going to be this one here. And then from here, you can go ahead and go to large blank and hit add widget. And if you tap it, you're going to get these options. We want the position to actually be on the bottom for this particular tutorial. And then we're going to go ahead and tap that. It's going to look pretty funky, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, from here, you can actually go ahead and actually hit um, edit. And we're going to do another one. So hit add widget again. Go back down to the blank widget app. It's right here. And then you can actually go ahead and hit the medium blank as well and hit add widget. And this position in here should is fine to be at the top. Because the next thing that we're going to do is work on the actual widget here, which we're going to be doing a text one. But you can pick any one that you want. But anyways, we're going to be creating a text one. So that one's fine to be none and then top. And then you should be fine to hit done. Mine's may look a little off because I'm on an iOS 18 beta, but yours should look perfectly fine on 17. All right, so now let's go back into this and now hit mine. And then we're gonna hit add widget. I have the medium one selected because I'm gonna be Ellen the medium widget. You do whichever one that you choose. And so I'm gonna hit add widget. And then I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and hit text right here. And then I'm gonna choose the medium one because that's the one that I want. You choose the one that you want, but for, the, this, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be choosing this medium one. Hit um, add to my widgets. And the first thing that's good to do is, I like to get rid of that background. So just tap the word background and hit delete. And then it's going to be using that um, transparent screenshot that we put, that's also your background. And so it's gonna set that one there. And then what we're gonna do is come back to text and you can choose whatever color you want the text to be. Um, I typically like mine to be white and um, you can choose the font that you want it to be also. So go ahead and edit this the way that you want it to be. Make it the size that you like it to be as well. And if you uh, rest your finger down on it, it'll give you a preview. So that way you can see what it's going to look like. Um, but if you tap, just tap inside the box, you should get this editing uh, kind of functionality here. So the way I kind of was setting mine up was I just did three dots. I put stay focused. But you can put anything that you want here. So I'm going to put life is good. And then it's going to try to put it in the middle. But if you actually just kind of like hold down on the space bar, you can kind of move this cursor and put yours all the way over here. And then I just spaced mine over. So that way it gets all the way to the right side. All the way. Oops, too much. There we go. And then hit done. And now this shape is actually looking pretty good. So I'm going to do this one here is called text 2. I'm not sure if you can edit that or not. Let me see. Can you, yeah, you can rename it. What should we name it? Let's do uh, testing. Oh, well maybe I should just name it life is good. <laughs> All right. So life is good. Hit save. And then I'm going to back out. And now let's see, can we choose this? Hopefully we did this right. But now hold down your finger on that and hit edit widget. And now let's choose widget. And there we go. Life is good. Should be right there. Tap it. And there you go. Now you have your text that's here on your home screen here. So that should be looking pretty good. Hopefully not creepy in the face like my boy is right here. <laughs> But anyways, the next step now is going to be to edit the icon. So if you're on iOS 18, 
um, this is really easy. You can actually just hold down um, on the blank space and hit edit and go to customize and you can quickly change them over to dark. Um, if you get a shadow part, you can just hit the sun, don't worry to bring it back to regular brightness. And if you do dark, then it's going to end up customizing those here. Um, but I'm going to go to edit and hit customize, but I'm actually going to choose tinted and I want the brightness to stay up. And then I actually just like mine to look like this. And so that changes the icons to look like this nice black. It just, it looks really nice with this wallpaper. <laughs> in my opinion, um, if you do not want to, if you're not on iOS 18 just yet, it's okay. What we're going to use is the good old fashioned but painfully slow shortcuts app. So go ahead and open up Apple's shortcut app. If you don't have it downloaded to your phone, you can just go back into the app store and search for shortcuts by Apple. And it's going to be this one here. This is what the icon should look like for you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this one up. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and create, uh, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial to show you how to do this if you do not know already. If you already know, you're good to go. Go ahead and put your shortcut apps wherever you want it to be. Um, I like mine's on the bottom row, but stick yours wherever you want. And then what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to make one. So I'm gonna stick inside of the link below, inside of the description, a link to some um, white icons and some black icons just to kind of get you started but you use whichever one that you want to but here I'm on the shortcuts tab on the bottom left and then I'm gonna hit the plus and then it's gonna ask for what new shortcut do you want to make I'm gonna just type the word open and it should pop right up for you as well just tap open app because the only thing that we want to do is create a shortcut so when, when you tap the app on the home screen it opens up the app that we want and so for this tutorial I'm going to use messages and now here this is looking pretty good and so if you hit the drop down right here you can go ahead and rename it so I'm going to name this one uh, I already have a messages so I'm gonna purposely spell this messages and then the next thing that we could do is hit the share button here and once you do that you should see add to home screen and here you can either edit the icon using one of the photos that's provided here by Apple or if you downloaded any of those white icons or black icons here's where you would tap on this check mark here for the picture and then we're going to hit choose photo and going to navigate to the icon that you want to be on your home screen so i'm going to do that now hit choose photo all right and navigate to wherever you save this icon pack at i'm going to navigate to one that looks like this one here looks pretty good and i'm going to choose and there we go. So now that I've chosen the icon photo that I want to be for my messages, then I'm going to hit add. And there we go. There's messages. And so I'm going to go ahead and move one of these out the way by just holding down on it. You can move it wherever you want to. And now I can drag this to be down here. And you're just going to do that same thing for any of the apps that you want. So you don't have to do it for every app. Just do it for the apps that you want to be here on this bottom row, especially since your main page is going to look clean anyway with the blank widgets that we set up. And it's not going to show the text name of the app down here. So this is a nice quick way to go ahead and um, um, customize your iPhone. I think it works really nice. Like I said, I'm on the iOS 18 beta, so mine looks a little bit more funky than you guys is probably. But if you're on 17 or anything, excuse me, like 16, then this should work just fine for you and everything should be looking good. Uh, I guess if you run into any problems, just leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out where I can. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you all uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.